marching in a parade doesn't heal wounds. It absolutely does not. Do you see a day when Toronto Police are once again part of Pride? Absolutely. That today from the Executive Director of Pride Toronto as Pride asked Toronto Police to withdraw their application to take part in this year's parade. Now here along Church Street, whether you're inside the barber shop or you walk into any of the restaurants or bars in the neighbourhood, you'll likely find someone who has a strong opinion about police relations here in this community. Now this afternoon, Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders sent out a statement saying that police will be withdrawing their application. That was about two years ago that Black Lives Matter sat in, disrupted and delayed the Pride Parade. And many of the issues then are still relevant today. Though according to Pride Toronto, any progress that has been made since 2016 was set back by the Bruce MacArthur investigation. An investigation many here in this neighbourhood say was botched by Toronto police. In your opinion, has the Bruce MacArthur investigation compounded issues which are dating back years and years and years? Yes, absolutely. For the last 15 years, as a community, we have been talking about not only how unsafe our community feels, but the fact that we have had a few disappearances. We have questioned whether or not those disappearances are connected. We have questioned whether or not they're related to the color of the men's, some of the men's skin who've disappeared. And we have received zero to no answers to those questions. In part, a statement from Chief Saunders today said, I will be withdrawing the application we have made to the organizing committee of the Pride Parade. My hope is that this, will, this move will be received as a concrete example of the fact that I am listening closely to the community's concerns and I am committed thoroughly to building a better, stronger relationship between us. Much more work is needed, of course, but hopefully this moment moves us forward in an important way. Now, one of the victims that triggered the Bruce MacArthur investigation is Andrew Kinsman. City News sat down with his sister Patricia last summer as she made a plea for answers for her missing brother. We spoke with her again when it was revealed that police believe that Kinsman was killed by MacArthur. Today she told us, though, that she believes police should be allowed to take part in this year's Pride Parade. I posted on Facebook yesterday after Pride Toronto posted their letter. and. This is what I posted. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I'm Andrew's sister, and here's my opinion. Let the police march. I think it's productive for the police to join in and march with pride. Depend on the police to keep us safe. And if we keep on putting roadblocks in front of them, how can we then ask them to help us when someone goes missing? Now, there are LGBTQ organizations here in Toronto that are working with Toronto Police. The problem, according to Pride Toronto, is a lot of these initiatives were brought to the Toronto Police Service. They're calling on the Toronto Police to bring some constructive dialogue and ideas to the table and work with Pride Toronto and with the communities and organizations here in our city. And they say until that happens, police won't be welcome at the parade.